we embed it in a very clinical environment and we do a broad base of studies that is related to researching the effectiveness and the safety of medications in routine care. We analyze large randomized trials, um, we study adherence patterns of medications, um, uh, particularly in elderly patients using Medicare and Medicaid databases. Despite the fact that we traditionally thought we had powerful information technology, we soon encountered limitations that made it very hard, to say the least, um, uh, to run our algorithms in these large databases. It often took an entire weekend to run analyses, which made it impractical for us. The insurance databases that we work with um, in pharmacoepidemiology and comparative effectiveness research, they become bigger and bigger. Uh, so there are no longer 500,000 or a million lives. We're now talking tens of millions of lives, approaching 100 million lives in these databases covered. At the same time, these databases become richer. It's no longer naked claims. It is enriched with lab test results, um, with um, bits and pieces of, of clinical result data that are linked and merged to these large databases. The analytic procedures that we're using in order to come close to causal inference with our statements of whether a drug causes this and that effect uh, become more and more involved, more and more intensive, computationally more intensive. Uh, which actually uh, motivated us to start, um, together with Letizia's help, uh, the uh, computational pharmacoepidemiology program. Within two days, uh, the Netiza machine was up and running. It was delivered at the dock of our data center out in Needham. Um, it was set up, and two days later, our statistical analysts were already working on the machine. I don't think that the transition team worked full time over those two days, really. Uh, so that was a big surprise. And we were really impressed. Um, I think it was at least a 10 times improvement in speed, and this is without optimizing the code at all. During the few weeks that we have the machine now, I have not heard anything that we have invested much time in, in maintaining the machine. So, um, this is, uh, which is important to us because we don't have, as an academic institution, a standing budget for computer or IT maintenance. And I thought, gosh, this is the perfect marriage because it is a hardware and a software solution that is, um, specialized to optimize database applications. That is exactly what we are doing as pharmacoepidemiologists, work with large databases that we have to man manipulate extensively in one way or another with complicated statistical procedures, uh, and we need these results fairly quickly. We cannot wait a weekend for an answer. Since we have the machine, we are not disappointed. We are excited about the improvements that we have observed so far, and I am optimistic that once we optimize um, our codes, to the Netiza machine, uh, we will see even more improvement in the performance of these um, algorithms that we're using and that, that, quite frankly, many other people are using in our field, whether that is in academia or whether that is in industry. Uh, we are all relying on these large databases and we need to find ways to analyze these databases not only quickly but also the right way. And analyzing the right way is computationally intensive, which is where machines uh, like Netiza is coming in.